Welcome back. Anbe Sivam, Sivame Anbu. Love is God and God is love. That underlying current that sustains all religions. More and more religious organizations are promoting this universal principle of oneness or love in efforts to restore world peace. Sadna attended an interfaith dialogue in Chatsworth, an initiative of the Seva Sitanda Sangam and Arunachala Marga, an organization founded at the sacred Arunachala Mountain in South India by Father Kumarin Francis, a South African born Christian priest. Our Master, His Holiness Brahma, Shri Sri Supramani Guru Swami Go, uh, points out in many of the hymns uh, about God being within us. And if God is in me, God is in everyone else, uh, irrespective whether the person comes from a Christian, Muslim, Hindu, or whatever background, or even if he is an atheist. The dialogue is more particularly about Saivism and Hinduism on the one hand and uh, Christianity. And, and the objective of such a dialogue is to create um, peace and harmony, interfaith peace and harmony. It also brings out the oneness, the synergy and spiritual unity of faiths. I was born into a family that was Christian, my father was Christian. Um, but my grandmother who lived with us was a practicing Hindu. So I grew up being influenced by both religions. And in my own search for truth, I had entered into the Christian priesthood and was ordained as a Christian Anglican priest and practiced as, like that for many years. But as my journey of faith deepened, I was searching for truth at a deeper level. So I started to make these pilgrimages to India. Without philosophical understanding of religious practices, we lead to superstitions and blind following. Therefore, a kind of discourses, lectures on philosophical truths are essentially required to have a kind of preliminary understanding of religious practices. Since the dawn of history, there is a mystery behind human lives. There is an insight behind the eyesight between the Supreme Personality above and the finite human being below appears a big question mark demanding to know, who am I? I'm looking at the audience and I see some people I know, they've heard my story before, but for some that didn't hear it, I'm going to say it again. So those that know it, smile and act like you're hearing it for the first <laughs> time, okay? <laughs> so for those that uh, know me, um, I'm a Durbanite, I'm a Durban boy, and um, I was raised in a home that was Christian, my father was Christian, but my grandmother, who was one of the greatest spiritual influences in my life, uh, was a practicing Hindu. And I remember waking up on a Monday morning before school, uh, getting ready for school, and smelling Udhavetti in the room, and seeing the Lachmi Velika light, and then on Sunday morning, we would dress up and go to church. When I was a young boy, going to my village school in Tanjavu district, my parents were peasants, agriculturist family. Without knowing the significant truths about religion, I was simply worshiping manifold gods out of fear. And out of the gods would come to me while writing the examination for getting for getting good marks. So with this fear complex and with the expectations, I have been introduced to religion. You see, whether you're Hindu, Christian, Muslim, if you surrender to the grace of God in whichever form you believe in that God, that grace will lead you home. Where the scriptures, the practices, the philosophical doctrines meet so that we can have a kind of interchange of views, not 
with the aim of discriminating the points of philosophical truths or religious doctrines, but the points of agreement, so that there will be consensus among the religious people that all religions have the same goal. That means giving up the worldly attachments and entering into the realm of God. That is the ultimate goal of all the religions in the world through pure love, devotion, dedication and determination. We believe in one God, one world and one human family. And we believe that religion sometimes divides us, but spirituality unites us. How much more in a place like South Africa we need this message of oneness? You know, we often spoke of the rainbow nation. It has many colors. And so if we can understand that even though we have all these different colors in the rainbow, in the essence, we all are one.